Neo Laminated Timber, or NLT, is a mass timber product that's made of dimension timber that's stacked on its edge and then fastened together with nails or sometimes screws. Neo Laminated Timber is also known as Brettstapel, literally meaning board stack in German. Neo Laminated Timber is a versatile construction material, often used in floors, roofs and walls. Renowned for its aesthetic appeal, NLT roofs, which can also be curved, are often left exposed, showcasing the natural beauty of wood in an unfinished state. However, exposed NLT faces can also get sealers or stains applied to them to suit individual preferences. To enhance the shear capacity of the NLT panels, plywood or OSB is often added to their faces. The panels are designed to span in one direction, needing support from beams. Columns alone aren't enough, and in places where a point load is placed upon the NLT panel, something is needed to support it underneath. Any point loads could be supported with either columns, beams or walls. One of the most compelling advantages of NLT is its inherent sustainability. As a wood-based product, NLT acts as a carbon sink, actively sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. Remarkably, wood comprises almost half of its weight in carbon making NLT incredibly sustainable to use. NLT has been around for a while, but has been brought back to light in the 1970s by Swiss timber engineer Julius Naderer. It is currently regaining popularity due to its wide range of possible applications, aesthetic features, relative ease of fabrication and relative lightweight properties. NLT has historically been used in industrial buildings to span between timber posts and beams to create sturdy floors. Many of these buildings are now sought after for their historic appeal and are often used as refurbished office or residential spaces. To make the element stronger, glue was added to the manufacturing process of NLT, but this, combined with the nails or screws that were used, caused end-of-life issues and made it incredibly hard to modify the panels. While nail laminated timber can be manufactured in a controlled factory setting, one of its key advantages is being able to fabricate it on-site. The simplicity of NLT means it can be crafted using locally sourced dimension timber, rather than rely on specialized materials shipped from elsewhere. To ensure that the panels are perfectly straight, NLT fabrication often uses simple jig systems. These systems help guide and align the timber as they are nailed together. One of the main strengths of NLT fabrication is that it can be made in virtually any desired size. The dimensions aren't limited by a lot of constraints, Additionally, NLT can be made with any species or grade of timber. Iron staining can occur on the wood when using normal nails or screws, so galvanized nails or screws should be used if the NLT panels are exposed to moisture during construction or use. The acoustic performance of NLT panels depend mostly on its flatness. If the NLT panel is flat, it can reflect sound similarly to how, for example, CLT would reflect sound. If the NLT panel isn't flat, it can diffuse sound a little even if there is stopping or sheeting above or below it. Nail laminated timber is not inherently airtight due to the gaps and spaces in between the boards. This allows air and moisture vapor to pass through. The air tightness of NLT therefore depends mostly on how the joints and connections are sealed. This is something that we'll definitely discuss in a later video. Nail laminated timber, like other mass timber products, is naturally resistant to fire because it chars. In the event of a fire, this char forms a protective layer around the outside whilst retaining strength in the core. This slows combustion significantly, allowing time to evacuate the building before the building collapses. Minimizing site storage is crucial for combating moisture problems in wood products like nail laminated timber. If nail laminated timber is stored on site, it should always be lifted off of the ground and protected with a waterproof layer. During construction, Working with Temporary Moisture Management Systems, or TMMS, can help prevent moisture damage in the wood. For large NLT panels, it is recommended to keep some gaps of around 1 20th the size of the total panel to account for fluctuations in moisture that can cause dimensional changes in the timber. If there is a risk of moisture exposure in the interior, a waterproof layer should be applied to the face of the NLT. This additional layer can help prevent moisture-related issues. For optimal thermal and moisture performance, it is highly recommended to install the insulation on the exterior side of the NLT panels. This placement helps maintain a consistent level of humidity and temperature within the timber assembly. 
By shielding the NLT from temperature fluctuations and moisture exposure, it can create a stable internal environment. This approach minimizes the risk of issues such as condensation, mold growth, or excessive dimensional changes, which can compromise the structural integrity of the timber. If you want to learn more about the different types of mass timber, follow the links in the description. And if you want to learn more about the world of mass timber as a whole, subscribe to this channel. Stay informed, stay inspired, Timber Talk.